Hello, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, we are going to go over how to program a multi-step hole in Camworks. I already have a multi-step hole designed, let's define it. I get chamfer 1, cylinder 1, chamfer 2, and cylinder 2, and we'll use those names throughout. The bottom diameter of chamfer 1 is at 0.45 inches. The bottom diameter of chamfer 2 is at 0.246, so about 0.25 there. Now Camworks comes with a strategy that already exists for a multi-step hole, however we're going to add another one. So let's take a look at the existing strategy. If I come into my technology database, we're going to select mill, then features and operations, then multi-step holes, and this is that default strategy. We can see that I have the name of the strategy along the top, and below that I have the different operations that are going to be associated to that strategy. So it looks like a center drill, drill, rough mill, drill, rough mill, and then it keeps going. Let's take a look at the hole that we're going to be programming. I'm probably going to come in and center drill, then drill all the way through. Then we're going to use a contour mill and remove some extra material from cylinder 1. Then we're going to use two countersinks to finish machining both chamfers. So I don't need this many operations, so let's create a new strategy that I can use. In the lower left hand corner I get the new blank record, I'm going to select that. And let's do multi-stepped hole, and then I'm just going to say Hawkridge Systems HRS there. So the first operation we needed for this multi-step hole was that center drill. So I can use my pull down menu and let's select center drill. Next I want to define the diameter of the center drill and that's going to be based off of cylinder 2, not cylinder 1. So just a left click on that will give me the diameter evaluation and I can switch that to number 2. I also get face depth so top of cylinder 1 looks good. Then machining depth there, so let's maybe do a constant in this case. So we're going to do a constant for a countersink diameter, so along the bottom, and we're going to do 0.05. Alright, now I need to select my tool, so I can select here, and we're going to use selected tool, and I want my number 3 high speed steel looks like we're at a 60 degree angle so that looks good. I'll accept that and close that. So now we have our first operation, that center drill. Next I want to do the drilling operation. So using that pull down menu I can select drilling. And we're going to drill through cylinder 2. So I'm going to change this just to left click on that and I'll update that to cylinder 2. Our machine Face depth will be the top of cylinder 1, that looks good. I need to change this machining depth to go all the way through cylinder 2, so I can select that and let's switch that to a 2, and we're going to go to the bottom of cylinder 2. And now I can select a tool, and in this case we're just going to use a constant, and we're going to do a constant of 0.25. And I'm getting that constant number from that dimension that we saw already. Next I need a contour mill. And we're going to be machining cylinder 1. I want to start at the top of cylinder 1. And I want to end at the bottom of cylinder 1. So we're going to switch this to the bottom of cylinder 1. And I need a tool on this one. And we're going to use an expression in this case. So I want the cylinder 1 plus that 0, and then we're going to go minus 0 in order to define the tool. Next I need are my two countersink operations. So I can select my countersink. And we're going to do our chamfer 1 this time. So I'm just going to left click here, and we're defining it for chamfer 1. I want to use my face depth at the bottom of chamfer 1, so we're going to switch that to the bottom of chamfer 1. 
And then we're going to use my machining depth at a constant here. So I want my countersink diameter and we're going to use 0.45. So that was that constant value that we already saw. Then if I select a tool here, so we're going to do a selected tool. And I want my 5 8 high speed steel 90 degree. So 5 8 high speed steel 90 degree here. So this looks good. And then that diameter is at just my 0.625. All right, so I'll grab tool number five and select OK and hit OK again. So 5 8 high speed steel 90 degree countersink. I need my next one. So I'm going to do another countersink. We're going to go for chamfer. Two, and I want to go to the bottom of chamfer two. The so bottom of chamfer two, we're going to make the, our machining depth another constant here. So countersink diameter constant, and that was at about 0.25. Now I can select my tool. And here we're going to use just my 3 8 high speed steel countersink, so that third one. So I get my 3 8 high speed steel countersink, so this looks good. So now I have my five different operations tied to my MSH HRS strategy. So I can go to my previous record or I can go to my next record and I can see that everything's there. So let's go ahead and close out the database. And now we're going to run automatic feature recognition on this. So I'm going to run extract machinable features. And it's automatically going to pull in that default. But I can always change that if I go to parameters there. I now can use the pull down menu for my MSH HRS and say OK. Then from here, I want to generate an operation plan. And there are those five operations. So my center drill drill that contour, countersink, and countersink. So let's generate a toolpath on that. And if I just highlight over this, we're getting a really nice toolpath associated to this. Let's go ahead and simulate this. Make sure it's slowed down there. So we get our center drill coming in. That looks great. So now if I show my difference, I can see that I don't have any difference. In today's video, we went over how to program a multi-step hole in the CamWorks Technology Database. Thanks for watching.